None of us really know what we can bear. But in many ways, we're called upon almost every day to bear what feels unbearable. And to just show up and to work with it and to respond. Whatever we do in life, whatever our responsibilities are, our job is, our relationships require, I think we all know that feeling of, I can't do this today. And yet there we are, and we're faced with that situation, and we have to find a way to do it anyway. And we talk often about the importance of effort and courage in our practice. That repetition that Karen was talking about helps us have the capacity to work with what feels unworkable. To begin our morning practice, we do 108 prostrations. Just, uh, because a lot of us are getting older, but even a lot of our younger members, we can't do all 108. So you either do the full prostration or you do a standing bow. There are a couple other ways you can do them. You can be kneeling on your cushion and just bow. But there are a few different forms. But the beauty of bowing practice is that it's very physical, and there's a concrete number of them, and there's a lot of them. And they go kind of quickly. They take about 12 minutes to do. And um, probably I, now over 10 years ago, maybe 15, I had a problem with my knee cartilage. There was a little piece of cartilage that was just kind of sticking out. And periodically when I would bow, it would get stuck in my knee and then my knee would lock. But it never happened any other time. And I don't like bowing. In fact, of all of our practices, I could say I like it the least. So there I had my chance. I can't bow anymore. And I went to the surgeon and I asked, I said, I need to get knee surgery because I need to fix this knee. And he says, well, it only happens in this one particular place. Don't do it. And my friends would joke with me because they knew how I felt about bowing and they'd say, great, stop, you don't, here's your chance. But I had to get the knee surgery because in a way it's the most important part of my practice. It's just doing it. And so many times I, I have to rely on that experience of pushing through what I don't like in order to do the things that I'm responsible to do. And I may not like it, but so much of the deeper meaning of my life comes out of those things that I may not like. That's a lesson I've learned. So getting that knee surgery, it worked. I was able to start bowing again. And I don't like it anymore. <laughs> but I also would fight as hard to not give it up. That value of pushing through, I like, I don't like, is how we commonly define our lives. And so simply put, being a slave to my likes and dislikes are, serves to, to keep me trapped in my own suffering that process of working with and working through is the path to liberation. And all of Buddhism is about liberation. That there is the possibility of release. 